This has gone from fun to, I don't know what the heck is going on. Hey guys. Now, before I explain why I'm looking a little pained at the minute, I just want to say thank you so much for helping me reach two, over 2,000 subscribers. Quite honestly, I thought it would take me longer to get to this point, but it, it didn't, so that's great. But that goes to the reason why I'm looking a little pained, because most of you know what I said I would do when I hit the 2,000 mark, and that was to finally work on my very first 2,000 count puzzle. How do I feel about that? Honestly, I'm, I'm, a little, I'm a little terrified by this. Not to say that I don't think it's gonna be fun at all, but you know, when I first opened my first 1500 count set, I mean, that looked insanely daunting. And you know, to be honest, as I went through the experience, it got more and more fun. So, you know, I'm just, I'm just hoping it turns out to be the same way. We're adding what, an extra 500 pieces a year? So hopefully it, it won't make the whole experience extremely challenging, but who knows? But anyways, let's finally get into what set I'm going to be working on. And I figured, you know what? The 1500 count set was a Disney puzzle because you know, that gives me great motivation. So I figured I should probably do the same for the 2000 count set. So the set I am going to be working on for this challenge is the Disney princess set. And this is 2000 pieces. It is 38 by 26 inches when it's completed and it's by Seiko. Now, funnily enough, my last higher count set was also a Seiko and it was a fantastic image. I love that image. You see it in some of my videos hanging up behind me now. But anyways, this one I figured would be best because I do have a number of them, but I really need something that puts me in a happy place. And Disney is my happy place. It's always been my happy place. So I'm hoping that gives me enough motivation to push through the difficult times during this experience. But I mean, you know, this image is fantastic. We've got all the Disney princesses here. We've got this beautiful table set up. This looks like it's a, a banquet room or something. I don't know. But we have all different elements here from all the different princesses. And I'm not gonna lie, I kind of wish I was eating the beignets and the, the pies and the cookies here in this image. This looks delicious. I'd love to sit and join the princesses during this little feast of desserts. Now, please let me know down below, what was your first 2000 count experience like? Was it better than you expected? Was it a nightmare? I'm curious to know and kind of compare that to my own experience here. But anyways, um, in terms of challenge level, I mean, we got quite a bit going on here. We kind of have a lot of the same elements and colors happening throughout the image. And what I mean by that is, look, we have like these curtains here. They all look the same. We got the pillow set up here. They kind of look similar. I mean, I don't know. I'm not exactly sure how big or small these puzzle pieces are. So I don't know what the quality is going to be like with Seiko's 2000 count sets. I've never worked on them before. Surprisingly, my 1500 count set was the best Seiko experience I ever had in terms of piecing together and quality. So, I mean, who knows? This might be the same. This might be extremely crumbly and might fall apart when I look at it. I don't know. I'm hoping that's not the case because, you know, this is going to be a lot of work. This is not the kind of thing I want to have go wrong. Now, speaking of things possibly going wrong, one issue that I do have here is that this puzzle does not actually fit my puzzle table, which is a big problem for me because I love my puzzle table. I love the surface of it. It's just what I'm used to. My only option that I have is to use the puzzle mat that was sent to me from Sunix. That only just fits this image. I believe it's only 38 by 27. I'm gonna have to double check that now that I think about it. I mean, I kind of need to really make sure that this puzzle is gonna fit on it because the last thing I want is to have to take it apart and put it somewhere else. That kind of defeats the whole purpose of putting a puzzle together. But anyways, I'm gonna have to be very careful here. I need to plan this out very well. 
because I, I don't really want to take any steps back in this process. Do I think it's going to look great when it's done? Absolutely. I love this image. But again, I don't know what this quality is like. I don't know how these pieces are going to hold together. So, you know, I'm just, I'm, I'm really just going to hope for the best here. So you know what, guys? Um, I'm going to shut up now. I'm going to stop procrastinating this because we need to get busy because on top of all the other things that I'm worried about, I honestly don't know how long this is going to take me. So you know what? Let's just open this up and let's finally get started. All right. So this is going to be a quick unboxing because we've done Seiko before. So we already kind of know what to expect. But I am curious, as I may have said before, on what the quality is like for the 2000 pieces. So let's open this up and see real quick. Oh, wow. Look at all that dust. Oh, that's a... It's quite a bit in there. Got a great size reference image here. This is going to be very useful. But um, considering how much dust is in this bag, I'm I'm just gonna I'm gonna dump them inside the box just to avoid a big mess on my table. Anyways. Oh my god, that's so much, and that's a lot of puzzle dust as well. But I mean, oh my goodness. What am I thinking? All right, now in terms of the pieces, these are a pretty good size. But then again, this is meant to be a very large image when it's completed. So not surprised by that. You know, they look thin, but I mean, they feel pretty sturdy. The print quality here is very good. It's very bright. Actually, now the, now the more that I look at it, I'm trying to find pieces that have a little bit more detail to them. And, hmm, this is interesting. It looks pretty clear on some of the pieces, but for some of it, it seems a little bit on, I don't know, kind of fuzzy side. I wouldn't consider it very blurry, but I mean, it doesn't look as sharp as some of the other details in the other pieces, but I don't know. It's hard to tell, really. I guess it just depends where on the image these pieces are from. But I think I'll get a better idea as I get through all these pieces here. But color-wise, the colors are great. But you know what? I'm curious to see how these are going to piece together and if it's going to be crumbly. Because, quite honestly, I can't afford for this to be crumbly. But what we're going to do first is I'm going to sort this nightmare. I mean, am I going to... Actually, now that I think about it... I've never sorted this many pieces before. I don't know if I'm going to fully sort it or give up halfway. We'll see. But after that, I need to try out and put the puzzle mat on this table, see if that's going to work out, and move on from there. All right. Let's finally get on with this. Oh, my goodness. This took so long. I think this process alone took me just over an hour. But here's what I kind of think I did here. So of course I have all the edge pieces in one tray here. Um, in this one, I I kind of just, um, overall, I try to separate this obviously as best I could. And I kind of did it by, you know, color schemes and basically if there was any details in the pieces. So for this tray, I kind of have like this lightish purple going on, this lightish green here. I got some browns. This here has mainly like the sparkles and the flowers. Pretty much anything from this area towards the bottom of the image. For this tray, I kind of have like some pale solid colors here. So we have like this lighter tone, this pinky purpley, this pale purple, yellow. This one here, as you can see, this is mainly like the dark pink pieces and we have the lighter pink pieces up top. Of course, these all have some form of detail in them. This tray here, I think what I did there is I pulled pieces out that had anything to do with like this area at the top of the image. And I think I have like kind of these columns here as well. Is that what you call them? I don't know. This tray here, I pulled to the side any pieces that basically were just details. So we have like the pots, this kind of design going on here, the chairs, pillows, and the stuff on the pillows. Yeah, that's what I think I did there. And then for this last tray, these are pieces that had any of the characters, or at least I, I think it's the characters. Obviously, I pulled out the bits with the faces, but in terms of like the, you know, the dresses and whatnot, I don't know. I, I did my best here. 
this honestly was not fun my back is killing me i'm gonna take a break i think i don't, I don't think i'm gonna continue on with the edges tonight but i don't know we'll see right now that this is done we need to figure out like are we gonna do it on this table or are we gonna do it on the mat let's see Right. I thought I'd do a quick update. Um, so yeah, obviously I got the mat down, but we still don't know yet if it's gonna fit the whole thing. And quite honestly, this is um, not going as easy as I'd like so far, which is a um, great start. But I also have a bad feeling. Like, I mean, come on, you see the pieces that I have here, right? This can't be the rest of the edging. I had to have screwed something up at some point. That there has to be more edges in the other trays because there's no way this is this is all of it. So there's that as well. But I'm not giving up tonight yet. I'm gonna puzzle for a little bit longer, but I did bring reinforcements, so hopefully that helps. And you know, maybe I can get through all this edging by tonight. We shall see. Let's continue. We did it and surprisingly i did actually have all the pieces it's barely fitting on the mat so i mean i'm just gonna have to be super careful with this um there there might be a tragedy at some point in this video i don't know i'm hoping not but we'll see right now i know originally i said i didn't think i had all the edge pieces but i i guess i did really if anything i seem to have an extra piece here and it does look like an actual edge piece and i did my best to see like if it was actually missing anywhere but I don't know it it doesn't seem like it does fit anywhere so I'm just gonna leave it on the side here around the area where I think it may belong but I mean I don't know do some puzzles come with like a weird extra piece I don't know I feel like that's happened to me once before in a puzzle but you know what um yeah these trays I'm not gonna lie they they they're really freaking me out but as I said, with the flowers, these seem pretty straightforward. We also have some of the pieces with the sparkles on them. And the sparkles are pretty much in the same area as well. So you know what? Let's just attack that tray and see how far we get with it. All right, I'm going to be totally honest here. I'm already feeling like this is going to be a shambles. Now, I've spent at least I think two hours at this point and I really didn't get anything done and it's funny because I look at the trays and I feel like all right I got a great plan for this right like I'm gonna do this it's gonna be all right and then I put the pieces out you know trying to sort it on the table well no not really trying to sort it just pretty much making a mess on my table but anyways I think I'm gonna get it it's gonna be okay and I just I can't figure it out it has nothing to do with the size of them. And it's not like the image is even that hard when you look at it. It's just, I, I I, don't know. But of course, you know, this is only just the beginning. You know, we just gotta, gotta keep pushing through, right? But now that I keep looking at it, look, you can already see what's going on here. And I didn't even realize that was happening. Just gotta make sure we put that back without destroying it. Oh, geez. Oh, oh gosh. Oh man, oh. as you can tell, this um, this puzzle is on the crumbly side and I'm trying to do my best to keep my patience. But anyways, let's repair the damages and let's keep going. Do you know what my biggest problem is? I think I figured it out. Um, I keep getting distracted. And I say that because I go in with the intention of picking certain pieces out from the trays. And then I'll see something that I think I know where it belongs. And then I put that to the side. And instead of working on the previous pile, I work on the new one. So because I feel like I'm going nowhere, I, I figured, you know what? Let me just pick one spot in this image. You know, pinpoint all the little details in that area and try to sift through the tray that I believe those pieces are in. So what I mean by that is I took the tray with kind of like all the yellowy stuff and basically anything that I thought belonged to the upper part of the image. And I thought, you know what? Why don't I just pick out the pieces that has like these hanging diamonds from the ceiling and, you know, just, oh, you know, specifically just pick those out. 
I mean, I'm not gonna lie. There were a few pieces that I noticed belonged to the princesses and I didn't bother like piecing them in. I, I just put them down to wherever it was I thought they belonged. So you know what? Let's try to put these together here. Do I have all of them here? Of course not. But you know what? I'm gonna do my best to try to get this area completed. And then maybe, uh, maybe, I don't know. I don't know why I said maybe for, I don't know what I'm gonna do after that. We'll see. Let's see if, let's see if this will work out. I gotta be honest, this is actually quite frustrating. I'm really struggling to, I guess, make out what I'm seeing in these puzzle pieces here. It's half the time is very confusing and I'm getting a lot of false fits, but most of all, this, this is what's driving me crazy. Let me just show you. So, you know, I'm trying to get these little sections done. And every time I try to like move the section a little slight, it, it doesn't glide very well on this mat. And I did review this mat in a previous video. And you know, the size is good, but I mean, don't you dare try to slide anything on this mat because it snags on the little fibers as you can see one side is kind of snagging. And most of the time what I'm dealing with is that it's just crumbling every time I try to move it. And it doesn't help that these Puzzle pieces are very crumbly. They're really not holding on together, which is adding to the overall frustration of this process. I'm not really sure how much longer it's gonna take for me to just get these darn flowers done, but I mean, we'll see, right? All we can do is just continue to gather reinforcements and, you know, hope for the best. so it's another day now but yesterday i did get plenty of progress done on the bottom which makes me very happy because honestly i didn't think i was gonna get much farther after a certain point yesterday but to get this done what i did was i kind of restored it that one tray for like a second or third time into smaller bundles that i have all over the floor here i'm trying to like gather everything back because i'm gonna start puzzling again Basically, this one tray was extremely full and I kind of broke it down to other smaller trays. And now that this bottom part is done, I'm thinking if I should try to work my way up the image. I don't know if that's gonna work here, but I have to say this image is a lot harder than it looks. But I'm gonna try to get through the other main details here and go from there. All right, let's see how far we get through today. And really, for the rest of this process, I just kept resorting and resorting. That was the only way I was able to get anything done because there were just so many pieces. And also, copious amounts of snacks or what I like to call reinforcements helped me to keep going, along with some Disney Park ambiance music. I don't know, that's just me. But what do you like to do to help keep you motivated when you're dealing with a puzzle challenge like this? But anyways, as I kept pushing on, I couldn't help but notice and get annoyed with myself on numerous occasions because, my goodness, that mess. Now I say I've got lots of good progress gro going on here, but I mean, I, look at this mess that I have. And you know what? There came a point when I was like trying to piece things together and like move things around and I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna drive myself crazy trying to clean up this table because you know what? No matter how hard I try to keep it clean, it's, it's never gonna be clean. It's just, I guess it's just not how I function. I'm sure a lot of you out there feel the same way about that, but I don't know. I'm pretty sure most people are probably, you know, neater when it comes to puzzling. But anyways, what matters is that I'm finally feeling like it's starting to feel fun. Does that make sense? But my next goal right now is to try to get the table done. Now, one area that I am struggling with are the columns here. And I know for a fact the curtains are gonna be a nightmare because that's a huge pile in one of the trays. So you know what? Maybe we should get started on this area and then we'll you know, worry about the other stuff. Let me see how much of this I can get cleaned up because this is, this is a huge mess and I don't really have any more trays to put extra pieces on, but let's move on. I have a little bit of a problem here. The more I go into this puzzle and you know, the more I'm sifting through these same pieces over and over again, I don't know. I just seem to have this growing suspicion that there's just something not quite right here. 
because these two pieces here don't seem like they belong anywhere. I mean, this purple one here looks like an extra and it looks like an edge piece, but the, the entire edge is, is done. And then this one here, I mean, all the pillows are completed too. So I don't, I don't know what this piece is for, unless it's for something else that I haven't figured out yet. I don't know. There are certain pieces as well where I feel like I should have really spotted them by now, you know, considering what's in these trays. Like, for example, this one here, I, I haven't quite found this one yet, and and this one too, and I feel like, you know, they seem like they're pretty easy piece, they're pretty easy pieces to spot, but I can't seem to figure out where they are, so I don't know, but, you know, I guess we shall see, right? I mean, now that I think about it, it'd really, really suck if this was missing pieces or something, that would make me feel quite frustrated. Well, it's been a very long journey, but we're down to the final stretch. And it's funny, there was a point where I was just so desperate for this puzzle to be over and done with. And now that I'm closer to the end, I'm, I'm kind of almost feeling sad about it. But anyways, in regards to finishing the last part of it, which is mainly at this point, the, you know, the really pink, cur the pink purpley curtains and all the little teeny areas that, you know, are kind of giving me a hard time, I think, I think this is the moment where I think I'm gonna start resorting by shape. I think that'll kind of help me, you know, get through this last part a little quicker. So you know what? Let's get started with resorting it and finally get this done. And resorting did help me find those two pieces I was suspicious about earlier, but then a different one started to worry me. Okay, I take back what I just said. This has gone from fun to, I don't know what the heck is going on. And the reason why I say that is because, I mean, this is how, how many pieces I have left, but these are all the gaps that still need filling in. I don't know. It's just right now to me, this doesn't look right. And not only that, this piece right here is not here. For some reason, it's, I, I don't know where it is. I, I don't know what to do. I'm a little flipping out right now. So yeah, who knows? This may actually not be fully complete, but at this point, what could we do, right? Might as well just finish it, I guess. Oh my goodness, crisis averted. Okay, so I figured, you know what? Let me just go along the line here. Cause I, you know, there's gotta be a piece somewhere here that I must've had like a false fit or something. And this one just so happened to be here. As you can see, I don't know why I thought that belonged there, but I must've been working on this in a funny angle or maybe it just, you know, magically fell in this place. I don't know, most likely it wasn't. But this belongs here. Okay, that is a big relief. Now let's just hope that the rest of these pieces are in the tray and that we can actually get this finished. All right, enough of this, let's just get this done. This puzzle took me about 26 hours to complete my goodness, this long journey was a memorable one. From wondering if this puzzle was even going to fit on the mat and probably have an accident along the way to why it had extra pieces to thinking I was missing pieces till the very end, it left me in constant suspense. And I was so happy to finally put that last piece in and to finally sit down and enjoy a nice big slice of pie with the princesses. I hope there's actually coffee in that pot though. Well. That was an adventure. I don't know, there were just numerous occasions where I thought I was losing my mind. But the image was great. The quality? No. That would have been silly of me to think in the beginning that this was going to be anything like my 1500 Count Seiko set. Because at the start of this, I did get the calipers to compare the thickness, and these 2000 Count pieces were thinner than the 1500 Count. So, I already knew I was going to be dealing with the typical Seiko situation. I did have some false fits. It was crumbly. I dealt with glare. And you know that added to the whole feeling of like, am, am I actually going to do this? Will this break me? But that image, you know, it kept me going. You know I love Disney. And thankfully, it didn't break me fully. It kicked me in the you know what, but you know, I pushed through. And my goodness, did it fill me with a huge sense of accomplishment. I did it. I'm a beast. 
Well, not really. Other people do way bigger count sets than, than I just did. They're, they're very beastly. I don't know how they do it, but I gotta give them props. But hey, I can now say that I completed a 2000 count set. And I'm pretty darn proud of myself. And you're probably wondering, hey, you know, this is a really big accomplishment. Like, are you gonna save this puzzle? No. I wanted to try the pickup test. And it stood up for a little bit. And then it started to crumble and it exploded on the way down. But that's okay. I really didn't have anywhere to display it anyway, so I'm not really crushed by it. Now, if you're looking to attempt something like this, the advice that I would give to you is... Just, just make sure you really love the image and that you are aware of the brand's overall quality because it can really make or break the experience. I already knew what I was getting myself into with Seiko, but for the millionth time, it's Disney and again, I think the image is fantastic. Also, it's going to start out very rough, but chill out, it's going to get easier because the more time you are spending on it, the more you are actually studying it. So you're going to start remembering all the little details and what goes where and what colors are what. And it, you know, the sheer amount of pieces all over is going to play with your eyes. You know, you're seeing a lot of the same things over and over again. So just give it time that, you know, that's pretty much what happened to me. And of course, do your best and try to stay as positive as you can and be patient with yourself. Enjoy the time and of course the snacks. But if you've ever put yourself through a situation like this, please feel free to let me know down below what was the biggest puzzle count you've ever completed? What was the whole experience like? Did it break you? Did it unleash the beast within you? Now don't worry, this experience has not scared me. I'm gonna work my way up to those much bigger count sets. You just wait and see. And if you wanna tag along with me and see me fall apart on those adventures, be sure to subscribe. But I have to say, big thanks to the Discord members who kind of jumpstarted this 2K challenge. It really gave me that kick in the butt to get this, you know, particular puzzle started. Because I, I honestly had been too scared to start. And it was nice to know that I wasn't the only one suffering along the way, so you know, there was that. So thanks again, guys. And if you're wondering what the heck is Discord, I'm gonna leave a link down below so that you can check it out. On a side note, I'm sure you can tell the different setup I have here. I'm just testing this out right now, so, you know, hopefully it comes out well. But, I don't know, you might see this kind of view a little bit more in the future. Anyways, guys, I need to recover from this ordeal and figure out what I'm going to finally work on next. So, I hope all is well. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.